Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Shanika and today I have a very lovely and relaxing morning yin yoga stretch for you. So it's about 6.30 in the morning here and I am looking forward to doing this practice just as much as you might be. And so the practice today is a full body morning stretch. We start off with the feet and then work our way from the shoulders all the way back down to the hips and the legs. So if you're unfamiliar with doing yin yoga first thing in the morning, it is beneficial because the body is still cold. So meaning you haven't gone out to warm up your muscles your joints. And because the body is so cold, it allows for a little bit of tighter pull on those ligaments, which will help to increase your flexibility and mobility over time. And not only that, but you'll notice the difference and you'll just have a better day because of it. So I do hope you enjoyed the practice today. As a side note, if you haven't already, consider joining my membership here on YouTube. This is where I post exclusive content. And so if you're looking to check that out, I will leave the link in the description box below. There are no props required for the practice today. Uh, cozy up, get into something warm, and I will see you on the mat. Starting off today in a toe squat. So tucking the toes under, big toes to touch if they can, and then bearing your weight back onto your heels. And then just dragging the pinky toes forward. And close the eyes here. And just notice right away if you're gripping the shins, just allowing everything to soften. Maybe taking a few neck rolls. And switching directions. Doing a few shoulder rolls, drawing the shoulders up towards the ears and down the back. And reversing directions. Let's take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale, fill up. And side out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently rock forward, coming to all fours. Untuck the toes, gonna to rotate the ankle. Wiggle the toes. Maybe tap the toes on top of the mat. And we'll just counter stretch that now. So stretching everything just below the knee, top of the shin, top of the foot. So you're going to bring your toenails this time to press into the floor and then bear your weight 
back onto your heels. So you might already be feeling a stretch in this position. You can stay here. Otherwise, you can gently bring your fingertips beside you and lift your knees up off the floor. We'll only be here for about three breaths. For three. For two. And one. Gently lower the knees to the floor and rock forward and find that tabletop position again. Rotating the ankles gently. Maybe extending one leg back and the other. And from here, we'll come down onto our bellies. Taking a broken wing from here. So you want to cactus your right arm and you just wanna make sure that your elbow's in line with your shoulder or just a little bit, just a tinch higher. You're gonna bring your right ear to the floor, spider your left fingertips. You're going to roll onto your right side Bending your knees and towards your chest, stacking your knees one on top of the other. You can keep your left fingertips where they are, or maybe you bring them around the back. Feeling a nice opening in the front of the chest and seam of the bicep. And of course, notice if you're shrugging your shoulders towards your ears, drawing your shoulder down and away. Let's take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Very gently, with your if your left hand was behind you, bring it back in front of you. Straighten the legs, roll onto your belly. Ooh. You can bring that right hand down by your side. As we set up for the other side, so we're going to cactus the left arm. Left elbow is in line with the left shoulder, or just a little tinch higher. Bringing the right, bringing the left temple to the floor. Spidering your right fingertips beside you. Roll onto your left side, bend your knees, stack them on top of one another. You can leave your right fingertips where they are, or maybe you bring them around the back. And again, drawing that left shoulder away from the ear. And 
And this is a smaller joint, so you don't want to spend too long in this pose. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. And let it go. One more inhale. And sigh it out. Gently bringing your right fingertips back down beside you, straighten your legs and roll back onto your belly. From here, let's push up. And find a seat. So we're going to bring the right foot in front of the left, finding a cross-legged position. And instead of bringing your feet closer towards your groin, you're gonna bring your feet a little bit further away and then bring your feet a little bit wide so it feels like an awkward seated position. Then just remove the fleshy parts from out underneath you so that you're nicely grounded on the floor. Inhaling here and exhaling gently lean forward, bringing your hands as far forward as you'd like and allowing the head to drop. So taking this stretch into the outer hips Back line. So staying nice and low, I'm just gonna walk all 10 fingertips over to the left. Just deepening the stretch into the side body, the low back.
Let's take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently come back through center and walk yourself back up. We'll repeat this on the other side. So uncrossing the shins, let's take the left leg, left shin in front. Feet come a little bit forward and a little bit wide. Inhaling here. And exhale to fold forward any amount. Staying nice and low, walking all 10 fingertips off to the right. Last two breaths here, nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently come back through center. Push yourself all the way back up. Swing your legs down the length of your mat. And come to lay on your back. Gently rock. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Lift up, wrap your hands around knife edges of your feet. You can stay here and recline butterfly or finding a happy baby. And in happy baby, gently pulling down on your feet as you push your sacrum, your tailbone into the floor, drawing your shoulders down and away from the ears. Hmm.
Last two breaths. Nice big inhale. And as you inhale, pull down on your feet. And exhale, let it go. One more inhale, pull down. And exhale, let it go. Gently close the shape, close the knees, gently rock. Taking a brief twist, cactus the arms, drop both knees to the right. And to the left. And coming back through center. Extend your legs out wide, arms out wide for your Shavasana. I'm really just taking these few moments to stop before you start your day. Set the tone. Slowly wiggling the fingers, the toes, rotating the ankles, the wrists. Let's reach the arms up overhead for a nice long body stretch. And on the exhale, just let it go. Bend the knees one by one, rolling over onto your side. And cradle the head and the upper arm. And gently push yourself all the way up 
to a seat. So with your eyes closed, just humbly bow your chin in towards your chest. We'll take one cleansing breath here. Nice big inhale, fill up. Open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> and gently opening the eyes. I do hope that you enjoyed this morning practice. I hope it set the tone for the day and set you up to have a wonderful day ahead. I am going to make some breakfast. I have some turkey sausage there that I've been thinking about. So I'm gonna go make some of that with some egg and avocado, uh, have some tea and do a little bit of planning for my day, for my week. And that is it. Share with me what are you going to do after you do this practice. I always love to hear about it. Remembering to like, subscribe, share with friends and family, and I will see you back here again soon for another practice.